going on YouTube. Still rolling. It's like, I think it's like 7 in the morning right now. I'm back at the shipper. It ain't no line at the shipper, no line at the shipper, no line at the receiver. We just moving. Moving and grooving. I guess it is people in line if you want to count this as being a line it's one person ahead of me and one person over there so I guess that's the line if you want to call that a line I'll be uh, loaded in the next 10 minutes I need to do my paperwork very quick but y'all know I'm gonna be 24 years old now September 23rd that's my birthday and I'm gonna be making some changes a whole lot of changes that I'll be talking about in future videos. Y'all be able to notice some of the changes. That sounds cool. Gotta keep my other phone charged. This phone right here is completely useless out here. And for the people that didn't know, y'all didn't see that. I got a new phone number, so I just thought I'd throw that out there. If you if you calling me. If you calling my, if you calling this phone, it don't work. <laughs> it's T-Mobile. So yes, I do got a new phone. It's the phone I'm shooting with. I got a new number too. So you got to message me for the new number. But I've been rolling. I'm on track to at least do 2,500 minimum. That's all I want. I'm on track. So far, ain't the, the, the truck ain't broke down yet. Believe it or not, it ain't broke down yet. Now, it is breaking down. <laughs> of course, the turbo don't work. And uh, yesterday, my refrigerator went out. So, with that refrigerator out, I'm back to eating at the truck stops. You know, I went and got me a cold drink, some uh, tea. And a biscuit this morning, cause I had to throw all the food out, my milk. I I can't I can't eat my cereal now. Can't make my my sandwiches, cause the mayonnaise and the meat here to get thrown out with the cheese. So, but that's all right though. We are gonna keep it moving. We are still on track. You know when I'm taking the least roads, I'm slowing it down. I'm trying to keep it below, you know, 10 miles per hour, cause. I feel like, man, if you go more than 10 miles per hour, the truck gonna fall apart, and you ain't gonna be making no money. So I go real slow now, man. I try to go real slow. I need a new steer tire, and I need a new drive tire. I looked at the steer tire, man. I got one new steer tire on the left side, brand new. On the right side, I got a used steer tire. I don't know what's up with that. That used steer tire gotta come up off there. But, um... It ain't about the, it ain't bad, but the one back here is bad. But the steer tire is all right. It's just you can you can actually tell that the left side is new and the right side is completely used. <laughs> but um, you know, somebody asked me a question. They said, "Hey, Andrew, man." They asked me two questions. How did I save money when I was leasing the truck? And how much do I think the owner of this truck? Uh, mates. And I'm going to start with the owner of this truck, okay? Again, I make 25% of the gross of the truck, okay? Now, when I made that $2,000, which is my second paycheck, uh, I believe the owner had grossed like $7,000. Let me see if I can find it. I'm gonna turn my air on too. I believe he grows 7,000. I'm looking for the message after I delete it. Oh, wait a minute. I can just go to, <laughs> I can go to test messages. <laughs> oh, shit. All the alerts. Oh, somebody behind me. Got me holding up traffic. All right, I got it right here. Scroll it up a little bit. All 
right, he, he made $7,238.24, okay? Uh, that's included for your surcharge. Out of that gross, he paid me. Yeah, where did it go? Give me a second. Oh, at the funny. He paid me 1809.56. And plus I get a $200 bonus, which brought me up to $2,009.56, okay? Like I said, I get 25% of the gross. Now we just gonna use that seven thousand two hundred. We just gonna take seven thousand two hundred dollars, and we gonna do some basic math. Seven thousand two hundred times four weeks. That's $28,800 a month, okay? And that was my second paycheck. I, I was, I guess you could say I was, I, I, I guess you could say I was still learning, you know, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. But $28,800 a month, okay? Times that by 12, you look at that $345,600, okay? Now, of course, that's a summer. Uh, that's that's what it, that's what he's projected to make. Of course, if I was doing the same amount of loans for that same amount of time, okay. Three hundred forty-five thousand six hundred dollars, okay. If he had, let's say he had four trucks, he'll be making one point three million gross, okay. So. When I see drivers out here like Bulo, or like the guy in the mechanic shop, let's take Bulo for example. You know, when I met Bulo, he came up to me out there in the field. You know, obviously he had been watching me, not on YouTube, he watched me out there in the field. He noticed every time he had the damn receiver, I met the receiver. <laughs> you damn right, I met the receiver. <laughs> I'm getting that loaded, I'm, I'm trying to get paid. So he come up to my truck, he said, hey man, I got a second truck. You know, uh, somebody, a lot of people selling trucks out there in California because they couldn't pass the uh, emissions because of the regulations. He ended up buying a 2006 Freightliner Columbia. It's a good truck, he needed a driver. He said, hey man, I, he asked me what I was getting paid. I said 25%, he said, I'll give you 30%. Problem was, I just got this job. Can't tell you, Bulo, but I was like, hey, you know what? You know, I got a, I, I got some people that want to come out here. I know they want they want to come out here. I said, uh, give me a number. I, you know what I'm saying? I'll try to get you a driver. Pull up a little bit. Now, give me a second now. Yeah, I told Bula, I said, Bula, I'll try to get you a driver. You know, I'll put your number out there. You should sure have no problem getting a driver. Now let's take the guys in the mechanic shop for example. Y'all don't know how this works. Receipts. See the scanner, right? I'm gonna get to it. Right there. We just scan the barcode and that's it. And that's it. That's that's it. I'm in line to get loaded. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my phone on. I gotta, I gotta contact the scare house. But anyways, like I said, Bulo was looking for another driver. I couldn't do it. I put his number out there. Damn near nobody qualified. Whatever the case may be. I think he got a driver now, but I'm not too sure. So let's say Bulo he got a second driver. Let's take that 28,800 times it by uh, two. He'll be grossing $57,600 for two trucks 
a month. Fifty-seven thousand. Look at all these warning signs. God damn. Batteries trying to down both phones. Keep telling me I got fifteen percent here, fifteen percent there. Damn it, man. Can't get nowhere. But anyways, if he had two trucks, assuming the drivers, you know, they they work for that week, uh, or they work. Let's just say they worked the whole month, okay? However many loads they did. I didn't do nothing special. I didn't do no, uh, I didn't do um, more loads than everybody else. I didn't know, I just did average. Okay, so that 2,000, well actually that was below average, I guess. You could, I would say 1,800 plus 200. 1,800, that's kind of below average out here. Nothing special. But the point is, with two trucks, 57,600. Now just do your calculations, if you was in that situation, you had two trucks, you know, two drivers, take out your truck notes for the month, let's just say you was with fucking quality, uh, just pay quality 3000 per truck, that's 6000 the fuel bill, let's say it's 4000 a month per truck, so you got 8000 for fuel, 8000 for fuel, $6,000 truck note, You got insurance. Let's say insurance is sixteen hundred per truck. Sixteen hundred per truck. You looking at about thirty two? All right, and then you just got to pay your driver. Actually, that insurance is too high because you only paying bobtail insurance. You ain't paying trailer insurance, you just paying bobtail, so it's more like 200 per truck. That right there, that is a van's drive, and I know out there in the mega carriers, if y'all dare to drive while talking on the phone, y'all be fine. But out here, this shit is called the van's drive, and I wouldn't recommend it for the people at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I'm just all right if you at the bottom now, but I heard that Snyder. Oh boy, you can't, you can't do that. You can't even, you can't even use one of these. They will, oh, they will crucify, crucify you. They see you with these right here. On. I'm just saying. <laughs> At the bottom, they had all kinds of rules. Here, oh, we work in reality, baby. In reality, truckers talk on the phone, they use Bluetooth. I don't give a damn who don't like it. Now, back to what I was saying. Now, you only got to pay your drivers. So, let's say you pay the drivers $2,000 a week. That's $16,000 a month for both drivers. Assuming they made $2,000 each week, $8,000 for the month. Two drivers, sixteen thousand. So you made sixty thousand. We just go around to make it, make it fair. Sixty thousand. Then take your. So I can't now. Now I'm getting in the van's calculations. Okay. <coughs> shit, I'm so good at this motherfucker. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's a goddamn frat saying. Give me a second. Trying to breathe over here, man. Damn. Now I got alarms and shit going off. Whew. Had to get up out of that, man. Shit, turn some of this out. Ask me what all that damn ringing noise is. Hey, it ain't falling apart yet. Got me looking all weird and shit. The back to what I was talking about. So we got 60,000 minus the drivers, 18,000 minus a $6,000 truck note. 
you know, two trucks, three thousand a month. Miners insurance. We gonna say it's uh two hundred a week per truck. So eight hundred, sixteen hundred for the month for two trucks, cause you just paying for Bob Tail and uh, liability. You had thirty four thousand four hundred. So I took out the truck note. I took out uh, the driver's pay. I took out insurance, so we gotta take out fuel. We just gonna say each truck used. Now out here, you're not gonna use four thousand uh, dollars a month. I mean, uh, yeah, a month, cause you're not going that many miles. I mean, you probably do like I don't know a thousand miles a week or some shit. But I'm just trying to base it off what y'all make. You know, the people that's in quality. I'm trying to base it off the highs. Uh, amount you could possibly be spending. So we just gonna go with the eight thousand a month for fuel. We had twenty six thousand four hundred dollars, okay? That the owner is gonna keep. Okay, now out of that, he gonna pay his taxes fifteen point three percent. So he gonna owe about four thousand dollars off that twenty six four hundred. So 26, 26, 400 minus 4,000. He gonna profit. I don't like doing taxes in here because there's so much shit that can be deducted to where he don't got to pay $4,000. But let's just put the $4,000 back in there. Let's go back to 26,400 because... You know, he could be a sole proprietor, LLC, S Corp, C Corp. It, it's there's no way to tell how much somebody gonna pay in taxes when you don't know how they set up. So I'm just saying. Then you don't know what the deductions are. But uh, twenty six thousand four hundred. That's what he gonna keep. Okay. So that's how much he gonna take home for two trucks. I'm pretty sure I'm leaving some stuff out. You know. Uh, but it's just a rough estimate, okay? Assuming the drivers work for the whole month. So how much is that a year? Just times it by 12. He looking at $316,800 in profit for two trucks at the end of the year, okay? That should be his profit, I'm pretty sure. It's going to be close to that. It's going to be between two fifty dollars and maybe $300,000 for his profit. For two trucks, he ain't even driving. And then if he want, he can go and be a company driver and make $100,000, okay? The reason I say it's close to, uh, I want to say he's going to be profiting about at least a quarter million dollars. This is the way I think of it, okay? Whatever my paycheck is, that's what his paycheck is, what he take, okay? So if I make 2000 okay, think of it this way. I get 25% of the truck, right? He get 25% of the truck, right? The other 50% is deductions or expenses, okay? So if I make 2000 he make 2000 So whatever I make, he make. So if I make a hundred thousand at the end of the year, he made a hundred thousand. If he got two drivers, he gonna make two hundred thousand. He got three drivers, three hundred thousand four. That's how I think of it. Okay, that's just the easy way to do it. But uh, like I said, I'm rolling. This is my second load for the day, and uh, I'm on track to do at least twenty five hundred. Hopefully, as long as nothing happens, everything go right, I'm gonna be okay. I know y'all won't. The other question answered, how do you save money leasing? And uh, the video is kind of too long, but real quick. There's a couple of ways you can do it. The best way to do it is to look at your main expenses. Or your main expense, which is pretty much the only thing you can control leasing is fuel. Y'all already know what the hell I'm going to tell you to do. Cut down on the fuel bill. How do you cut down on the fuel bill? You go get your own fuel card. That's going to save you a lot of money at the pump. I know a lot of people don't like that advice. 
I'm just telling you how I was able to put about two to three hundred dollars a week back in my motherfucking pocket every time I got paid. But yeah, it's just advice. Now, um, <clears throat> maybe you can look into uh, getting cheaper insurance for your lease truck. You know, maybe you can go to OIDA and get a group discount rate. Maybe it'll be cheaper than the insurance you got, but that's not going to save you too much money. Really, it may not even make a damn difference. Um, look at look at it saving saving money on food. <laughs> you know, for for a minute when I was out here, I was using somebody else's food stamps straight from South Memphis. <laughs> 